everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ.com. I'm here for the next in the series of our PowerShell videos. I believe this is number five. Uh, we w figured we'd go over uh, adding printers. We talked about a lot of how to find the commands you want and how to get more information on them, but we figured we'd look for more uh, real-world examples this time. Uh, well, the good news, if you are on a print server, or if you have a print server in your office, it is one line. It's right here, add printer connection name. Apparently, I don't have my drawing tool turned on. The connection name and then just the print server and the printer you want, and that will add it for you. Uh, if you don't have a print server, it's a little bit more involved. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is you're going to have to have uh, the drivers that you need uh, to install. And unfortunately, those aren't by default uh, added to the Windows driver store. So you have to first add the driver to the driver store, install that driver. Uh, if you wanted to find the port, you can. You have to add that printer port, and then you have to add the printer. Uh, so the first one, we're just using this pnputil.exe and then slash a as the driver. As you can see here, I have just put it on my desktop uh, and then the inf file. Uh, <clears throat> the way I found this one is, this is a printer I'm using at home. I had installed it on a computer. I used uh, git dash printer on that machine and it gave me all the information I needed, where it was in stored, where the inf is, and then I just copied the files that I needed. All right, so once you run this, la this line, the PNP util, it will go through, it will find the, the file you need and install it. Uh, next, we actually get to the, the add drivers part of it. Let's actually just copy all this over. All right, so you see here, the first command you're gonna wanna run is add printer driver. Uh, the name, uh, you can't put whatever you want in there. If you open up that INF file that we use, there'll be a section in there where it has a list of acceptable names you can use. You have to use one of those or this will fail. Uh, that was a trial and error part for me. So just know, you, you're going to have to know the actual name that we'll accept before you go into it. I have to have that and then just the path to where the INF file is after you have uh, imported. That will install the driver itself. The port is just add printer port. I named it Ports McGee. I didn't include my host address because this is on my home network and I don't think you need to know that. Just know you're going to have to know the IP of the printer that you're adding, and that's what goes after the printer host address. And the last part is you're just adding the printer. Add dash printer, the name, which you defined earlier when you printed, when you created the driver, or the driver name, the name, uh, dash name printy, that was named by my daughter, and then the port name of uh, Ports McGee. Once you have all those three, that will add, and it takes very little time it will install for you. You should be good to go to print. Uh, so if this is something where you're looking to push a bunch of printers to your environment, uh, without having the print server, you can do this in PDQ Deploy. Just in the package, you're going to want all of your driver tools that you need as additional files so you can call those. That way, you or or on a file share if you want to call them within PowerShell. That way, you can go in, grab everything you need, do the install, and it will install on whatever machines you need. That, that should be it. There's not a lot to it. The, the real issue is getting the driver itself in there. Once you're past that part, adding a printer should just take you seconds. Thanks for watching. For PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.